Hey guys, it's John Tyne here with the uh, Total Brawlhammer, coming at you with another Warhammer 2 quick battle. Alright, so let's do some Bertoni up in here. It looks like we'll be fighting the Hiles, led by Lance Likes Nuggies. Alright, so let's bring Zephet on Tom Tress. She can be really strong. Good, uh, good lord. Got the Potion to Chalice here, which is pretty good. So, for our army, we're gonna want some spears. I feel like Battle Pilgrims are the way to go here. And probably. Let's get three foot squares. So, as far as archers, I think we skip those just because of the high elf archers are so superior. But for cavalry, let us bring. I'm feeling. Westing Knights nice. should be pretty good, I think. Let's bring some of those. What else do we want? Let's bring one Royal. Do we want to bring a Royal Pegasus Knight? I think we don't want to contest the air. I think a dragon will beat both of those guys. So unless I go really heavy in the air, I don't think that will be worth it. Let's bring some mid arm with pole arms. And what else do we want here? Let's bring another one of these guys. Another one of these guys. And yeah, that's good. I like it. Alrighty, let's get to it. So the Fey Enchantress, she has a draining effect. She, she's well, in the first game she was called the Fey Morris Engine, but uh, she did get nerfed. She now has to be in melee combat, which is exactly where you don't want her to uh, get that drain effect. But if you can get her on, say some like Spearman, that'd be pretty good. They do have anti-large. Really, nothing's that great. For her to get on, I guess the Hiles is most everything they have is pretty high tier. But as long as we have her inundated with a bunch of our troops, we should we should be fine in that regard. We can probably get that drain off. We just have to be very careful not to get her killed. All right. So the Questing Knights, I feel like they'll do pretty well against Dragon Princes if he brings them. And if he decides to not go cavalry, then we're gonna charge them into say Swordmasters of Hoeth or. White Lines of Trace, because they will do very, very well, especially on the charge against those high tier units. And are really our best answer to them. Because our Foot Squires, we'd. I'm pretty sure our Swordmaster Hoth could probably take two or three of those guys on single handedly. Not if there was a full surround, but. Well, maybe. maybe I feel like the Swordmaster Hoth would beat a Foot Squire so fast that another Foot Squire wouldn't be able to get around behind him. But. Let's go ahead and mix in our foot squires with our bell pickums here. Going nice and wide. We got lots of spears and halberds. So hopefully we'll be able to draw his cavalry into those guys. Put our railroad play right in the middle here, along with the fate and chantress. And we'll have our questing knights right back here. I'm feeling good about this guys. Alright, so I'm sure we have the numbers here, as we are Bertonia, known for their large amount of low tier infantry. Indeed we do, we have about 400 more troops than they do. And let's get as close as we can up here. Alright guys, let's do it. Oh jeez, look at that. Got some, some chaos magic going on up there. Don't want any part of that. Imagine, imagine just like... The people who join Chaos. Why? Why would you wanna? Why would you wanna do that? Like Forsaken. I don't know the lore behind them, but those guys. Why? Why, why would you ever want to be that? And Chaos in general is just. Why? Just, just why? I don't understand. I guess it's just the culture they grew up in. That's usually what it is. All right, so let's go do a. Let's get on top of this hill over here as fast as we can. And hopefully our numbers can overwhelm this guy. So he's got an Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Very interesting. A Light Wizard, Swordmaster of Hoeth, and I'm a Princess on foot. So some Silver Helms, and I feel like we should be able to get this. Does he have any Swordmasters of Hoeth? So yes, we want to save our, uh, our Questing Knights for those guys. So he's gonna charge right in here. So let's let's get our spears and all our guys in him. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna wreck him. He's questing next. 
He did get the counter charge. That was a good counter charge. Let's keep on moving our guys. Wow, they're actually winning on the charge. Man, we took a lot of damage there. What's with that? Alright, let's move these guys back and use a regrowth on them. Alright, looking good, looking good. And he's netting them. It's a, kind of a strange choice, but let's, let's go ahead and get into melee here. And yeah, let's get down with melee. And we'll have all of y'all go around the flank over here. Get the Fey over here, and let's get these guys over here. So let's get these guys over here to counter those uh, Silver Helms. And let's get these guys on the Silver Helms as well. Get you up here, and let's get the Faye up here as well. feel like we can get a nice juicy heal. Let's not overcast it. Nice juicy heal right here. And we'll get a favor of the Faye over here. And let's drop a... Yes, let's drop that over there. Let's get her on the Spearman. I feel like that's pretty good. And let's get them all in there. Oh, oh, chase him down. We'll have these guys back here. And he's trying to get his Swordmaster's Poeth on these guys, but we're just going to run away. Let's get y'all up here. Definitely want y'all to go around. So we're doing a good job of taking down these Silver Helms. Let's go hold up these Swordmaster's Poeth, these guys. And yeah, now let's charge in. That should do quite a bit of damage. And look at all these guys. Just going around the back. I think we're winning in the front line. Let's drop a heal over here. That'll hit a nice big ball of our guys. And yeah. Right. So we're just going to leave our questing knights in those guys. And let's get these guys to go hold up all these guys. Alright. So I'll come around here. We're destroying these silver helms here. And let's go get into these archers. Yes. Yes. Kill them. Kill them. Do we need... Let's, let's drop a regrowth on these guys over here. So let's go get on these guys, and we are just overwhelming the, uh, the elves here. Our battle pilgrims trade very well with uh, their guys. So we're taking out all their archers, and do we have the Sword Masters of Hoeth down yet? Not quite yet, but as you can see, our uh, Questing Knights trade very well with them. So let's get all these guys and. Bring these guys around. Let's get y'all over here. Y'all keep on chasing these archers. And you guys can go charge into the back of these guys. I feel like that would be pretty, be pretty strong. Let's charge y'all into the back of these white lines of Trace. And get you on this light wizard. Thankfully, we did, our questing knights did not get caught by that net. So let's pull these guys out. And let's get a heal right here. Let's get out of here. And yes. Okay. That'll be pretty strong like our chances here. I like our chances. I feel like we got the numbers to do this. So let's go do another cycle charge over here and let's just just get him down. Keep the Fey out of battle here and let's use the favor of the Fey on these guys. Get some magic reserves up here and we actually charge in one line to trace on that side. That's interesting. Let's go finish off these Swordmasters of the last one that I would like. And let's get these questing guys out of here. Don't want to keep them in melee combat too long against those particular foes. And do we have a place to drop this? Uh, why not? We're not using it for anything else. Let's go take these guys down and let's just go get in the melee on these guys. Let me get that drain effect. And we are destroying these guys. So the Eagle Call Boat Thrower guys is the only reason to ever bring an Eagle Call Boat Thrower is to take down artillery and the. Uh, the Bretonians do not have good artillery, so I would not suggest bringing that against the Bretonians. So we have some foot squires just chasing these these battle pilgrims. No, they're foot squires chasing these guys, and for some reason they stopped. But let's get them repathed over there. And let's get our uh, lady out of here and get a regrowth on these guys. And it looks like we're going to have an overwhelming victory against the high elves here. I think the Bretonians have a really good matchup against the. I elves, because they can go so wide, they can bring questing knights, and their battle pilgrims can really outtrade the spearmen, which which the high elves are likely to bring a lot of. So, 
It was a really good match. And it looks like we're gonna have a win over here. So let's get our going for our fate on Tom Triss here. You know what? Let's go ahead and counter charge him so we can get a good charge with our questing knights. They still have the favor of the fate up as well. Alright, so let's go to the battle stream. And see how we did. So, Faye didn't get a lot of kills, of course, but she did her healing and did her job. So, look at these questing knights. They did really good. Despite one of them getting counter charged at the beginning, this one, he got 108 kills. So, these guys are definitely MVPs in the Bretonia versus Hiles matchup, and I suggest bringing them. Now, the Spearmen. Okay, so you, you gotta bring them against Bretonia because you need some troop density. But the Battle Pilgrims just wreck them. And so do the Foot Squires, honestly. Honestly, maybe going a lot of Phoenix. Like, three Phoenix Guard might be a good idea against the Bretonians. Because they'll beat Foot Squire. They'll beat everything on the uh, Bretonian roster, honestly. In a 1v1. So I'm thinking, probably drop the Swordmasters of Hoeth. And these White Lines of Trace. Maybe get some Phoenix Guard. Definitely drop the Eagle Claw Bolt Thor. Probably drop the Silver Helms just because High Elf Cavalry isn't really that good. I like to pick the Archers, though. Actually, I'd probably go Loth and Seaguard. So Loth and Seaguard, Spearmen, and I don't know if I would go in the air. Probably not, but I probably also wouldn't bring a Princess on a horse. I don't really understand that pick. But uh, she got 49 kills, so she didn't do that bad. War Master of Hoat did well. I assume his magic. Got some good damage out. I didn't see any of his spells cast, but if I had to guess, he probably casted some spirit leeches on the Fae Enchantress and did some healing. Alright, so that's all for this one, guys. This is John Tom for Total Bro, and we're signing out.